Hello, Potato. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you may have noticed that my most watched video by far is one I did back at the end of last year with the Treasure X Kings, little things I got on clearance at a Sam's Club. These little guys, because they can come with real gold shiny. But yeah, like we're going on over, over 6,000 people have watched that video for some reason. Um, and I thought, you know, well, I mean, I did enjoy that. It was, it was definitely a nice spin on doing your, uh, your blind box kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, why not? Uh, now these guys, the Treasure X Kings ones, weren't the ones I actually wanted to do when I did that video. I wanted to do the alien ones. Um... But I couldn't find them anymore at that point. And then I found these guys on clearance for like 15 bucks, and why not? It seemed like it'd be fun. It'd be a blind box thing. Well, guess what I found? Yes, these are the ones I wanted to do originally. The Treasure X Aliens. Now, I don't know if these come with actual... Oh, these come with real gems. Will you find real gems? Discover treasure hunter weapon, critter, atomic ooze, and alien treasure. So did you get like all that in here? Do you get one of each? I mean, given that this thing cost as much as that whole box set did, I, I hope so. Um, you notice here, I have some plastic down over the table because these deal with slime, and frankly, the, the foam that came in these guys was messy enough that, you know, I don't want to, like, get slime soaked into the tablecloth. So we threw down a little plastic here just to try to keep it uh, from getting too messy. These are for ages 5 and up, and I'm guessing the figures will be similar to these, but more of an alien theme. But the thing that seemed interesting about this to me is rather than, you know, grave robbing like you do for them, you actually get to dissect your little alien slug here. And apparently it is full of slime, because why wouldn't it be? Uh, anything else we need to read on here? Peel here. Tiny print, which we're not going to read. And I guess the ooze is going to go in there, which is nice, because um, I ended up putting the blue flowy stuff from the Treasure X Kings there into a zip-top bag to put one of their, their cases, because those cases aren't airtight, and that would just turn into a block of styrofoam otherwise. In fact, it may have anyways. So I guess this has a thing to keep the alien ooze in, which is nice. All right, let's crack it open. That almost worked. These things like never work for me. Usually run into the more on food, but I actually got most of the way down. Crinkle, crinkle. Some really low quality ASMR here. Which means I guess I should be whispering. You have to whisper when you do ASMR. But I don't know if this microphone picks it up at all or not. All right, in the trash with that. Oh, we have some stuff on the bottom, though. Twelve levels of adventure, so I guess... Oh, there's instructions. I should have read these first. One, rip. Two, mission. Three, tool. Four, release. Five, map. Six, dissect. Seven, rescue. Eight, treasure. Nine, critter. Ten, Ooze, 11, play, 12, store. And I guess these are by moose, or maybe they just have a random animal on the bottom, and that is amusing for people who are really into these. I mean, I mean that, that Treasure X King thing was a nice spin on uh, blind boxes. I mean, it was definitely fun. I enjoyed it. Of course, you also got to enjoy smashing the crud out of it to get it open. All right. Ah, lots of bits of tape. Lots of little things stuck to it. All right, now it comes off. I guess we just slide. No, we don't. Maybe I have to look at the mission first. Is there? No. Nope. Oh, there it is. There it is. Must follow the instructions. So we ripped. Now we need to mission. Is this mission? There we go. Mission objective. 
Galactic treasure hunters have been eaten by aliens during their search for powerful gems, the most valuable treasure in the universe. Dissect the alien, save the treasure hunter, and discover their amazing power treasures from all around the galaxy. Will you find a real gem treasure? I'm guessing we won't. Um, I guess these are all the little weapons you can find, and I guess the gem plugs into them or something. Ultimate treasure, real gem! Did you know? If you find a real gem, it's a peridot gem, some of which have been found in meteorites, so your real gem could actually be from outer space. But, spoiler for you, it isn't. So I'm guessing the mission is the same for everybody. Oh, look, instructions. Do we need instructions, though? Here's a little, all the little aliens you can get, and the critters. There's like, there's only three critters, but there are a dozen different aliens. Ooh, there's rares and super rares. So we'll have to keep an eye out for those. Oh, there's three different types. There's green and there's blue also. I didn't see any blue ones there, but you know, there weren't. You weren't supposed to be doing a whole lot of the whole non. Uh, not essential shopping right now. But I was there, I was there doing essential shopping. We were well trying to anyways. I actually didn't didn't find any of the things we were looking for other than this. So okay. So supposed to untwist here. That would be more meaningful if this wasn't a hollow tube. If the bottom wasn't just a piece of dropout plastic. Because you could you could maybe keep something in there, I don't know. Pop it off of the hooks here. So I'm guessing this was some sort of a stasis tube because otherwise I think your treasure hunter has probably been digested by now. All right, so this is where the, the ooze goes when we're done. Does it? So the hook, oh, yep, yeah, this hook come out. Cause that kind of, these weren't pegged at the store. I'm guessing these hooks are for pegging them. It looks like that should come out, but it doesn't. Maybe it does if I just force it hard enough, but that's not what you're here to watch. No one wants to watch that. You want to see what alien I got, or what treasure I got, if I got a treasure. All right. One, fill head with ooze. Two, squeeze head so the ooze isn't in it already? No, it isn't. Oh, I think it's for after the fact. You can squeeze it and make it drool ooze out. If you can get the get the cap to close on it. There we go. So the ooze must be in the body right now. All right. Let's get the patient in focus here. Zoom in. Alright. Do our own little alien autopsy here. It's get you a look at him all fuzzy and out of focus. Alright, so you're supposed to take let's get the garbage out of the way. So you're supposed to take the uh the little scalpel here and slice open oh sorry, it's an X tool. Use the X tool to cut around the alien stomach and remove the rib cage. So this should theoretically be where the slime comes in. Hopefully this works better than the uh, than the little hammer that came with the kings. Oh, the serrated edge probably. No, of course it doesn't. Wow, this is, you know, I, I know I feel like I'm complaining about this now, but I, I did kind of enjoy, here we go, now we got it, now we're going. Oop, did I just plunge in some ooze? No, it must, it must be sealed up somehow because otherwise it would try out, wouldn't it? I mean, that would be cool if it you plunged in and you got 
like slime out like it was actually bleeding or something, although it's a little grim. But you know, that's what people like. Kids like grim. That's why you have like Dr. Dreadful and stuff like that. You can't see anything because my hand is blocking the entire thing. I guess I should have done like a top-down, like the alien autopsy. Come on. Die! Alright, that's good enough. So we got to remove the rib cage. Got the patient open. So... Remove the rib cage. Rib cage is removed! See? Removed. Then we have to remove the stomach, or whatever this is. Whatever internal... I guess this must be the stomach if that's where... if it's eaten the treasure hunter, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna walk that way. Ah. Ah. Everything out of there? That's everything out of there. Other than another little bit of plastic. You know, I think it's, I think it's what killed the alien. It ate too much plastic. Sound of my desk rattling. It's going to sound really good on this uh, this video. All right, I guess let's put him back together. Plop him back in his little containment tube there, just so he doesn't get any ideas about escaping while we open his prey. Here, close him back up. All right, he is safely secured. All right, so I'm supposed to cut open this with the X tool. Looks like a body bag. Mm, come on. So less than surprisingly, a plastic scalpel doesn't cut very well. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to get out the box cutter and just slice it open as gently as possible. All right, let's use our tool, spread it apart, found the slime. There's our ooey gooey slime. Let me show you on camera. This is this is the money shot, right? That's that's your thumbnail shot there. If YouTube decides to make it such, I generally don't upload it. You, uh, oh, I think that's our gem. We should probably Ugh. slimy. We should probably save that for last. Let's let's rescue our our treasure hunter first. So we've got a gun. We've got a gun. What kind of gun is this? There are names on these. This is a... This is a weapon that doesn't appear to be pictured on the instructions. Well, that figures, doesn't it? All right, put that aside and let's get our little alien guy. Do we get a super rare? Can I sell it for a million dollars? He appears to have boom boxes. He appears to be a cultural stereotype, which is maybe not awesome. Because he's got a big gold chain and like a run DMC hat and big speakers. Oh, there's something else floating in the news there. Oh, this is the critter. This is his critter. Oh, it's squishy. The critter is squishy. That's ah, fun. I loved slime as a kid. Had of like the Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles. Alright, there's our guy. There's his critter. So who is this? Who did we get? 
He's not a super rare. He is Frog Chomp. We got Frog Chomp. Give him his little gun. He, I'm gonna say this is a, he's not as nice as the, uh, the Kings. He is not as nice of a figure. I mean, look at him compared to them. He's smaller. He's, uh, I'm gonna say he's not as well detailed. I, I don't, I don't think I like him as much as I like the, uh, other guys. I was kind of figuring they would be similar. All right, let's see the gem. We didn't get a super rare, but maybe we got a real gem. Maybe we got a piece of Peridot. Uh, we got... Nope, I'm going to say that's not a... Oh, these are the things that are on the picture. This is a ballistic blowtorch. A ballistic blowtorch. And so it just fits on his weapon some way or another, I guess. There we go. Yay. There it is. So there we have it. There is our Treasure X Alien Frog Chomp Stomp whatever. Frog Chomp. Yeah, okay, so I don't like it as much as the uh, let's see if we can get a good view on him. I, I don't like him as much as the uh, I like the Treasure X Kings. I don't think the figures is nice. I do think the um, alien dissection part is neat. I like that you get a little piece of slime here. And that it comes with a thing to actually store the slime in. Although I have my doubts as to whether or not that's actually going to keep it fresh. You remember how, how the slime stuff would always, over time, it would degrade into just like soup, no matter how you stored it? Yeah, I remember that. Like Ninja Turtle slime, Ghostbuster slime. After like a year, it would just turn into syrup, no matter what you did. But I do actually have some, I have some um, Doctor Who slime. There was, I think it was the first Matt Smith season, they released a little plastic TARDIS full of slime and body parts. Because it was like uh, some slime that could clone people. And there was like a, a severed doctor head and stuff in there. It's a little weird. But the last time I checked on it, which is, you know, just been a few months, the slime was actually still, it was a thicker slime. It was thicker than this. Um, but it hadn't turned into, into just uh, water, which was interesting. But, all right. I think that's going to do it for this week. There's our video. There's our guy, Frog Chomp, with his critter. That is the Critter 2. They didn't bother to name those. And his Ballistic Blowtorch. And, you know, it was fun. I will probably do this again. Get another one of these little alien guys. Uh, put the Treasure X Kings away, since I think they, uh, they make him look bad. But, yeah, I think I'll do this again. So we'll get another one of these in the video in the future, maybe. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this filled whatever, whatever joy that doing the uh, Kings did. Um, I like the experience. I like the look. I think these look nicer on the shelf than say, you know, these little gold sarcophagi. But I gotta say, I don't think the figure inside is as nice, and that's that's kind of a big deal. But yep, that's gonna do it. We will see you in the next video, so make sure to please follow me on Instagram, at Void of Intelligence. Also, you can join the Void of Intelligence Facebook page and be the first person on there that's not my wife. Because, yes, I, I post there fairly regularly, and, you know, nobody sees it, but, hey, whatever. I didn't ever start this stuff with the idea of anybody but me looking at it anyways. Um, so, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Void of Intelligence. Uh, make sure to like this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I always appreciate subscribers. We're over 50 now. We have over 50 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. That so many people, enough people that I don't know, um, actually felt worth uh, clicking the subscribe. And uh, by all means, feel free to share this video if you have friends who are really into these Treasure X things. 
and want to see somebody spend 15 bucks on something so that you don't have to. And uh, I will see you in the next video. The alien's attacking! Yeah, that, that's not... That's not as great as I thought it was going to be. I, I thought that would... I thought we would do better on that. It's gross, though. It's definitely gross.